Thank you everyone for joining me. So, yeah. So I'm Pankaj. I'm a tech lead at Glyphic. And for the next 10 minutes, I'm ju just talk about Glyphic. So, yeah. So to st start the introduction, uh, there is a need why we start with Glyphic, why we build it. And uh, I have a video for it. So it can be faster to understand. <laughs> If you are an NGO that engages with more than 500 beneficiaries on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis, running various programs such as health awareness drives, counseling, education at home, support helplines, or delivery of other services, then you know the pains of making sure that all your end users are responded to in a timely manner, the pains to gather data from those interactions and measuring it for better impact. The problem is not having the right tools to efficiently communicate with your end users at a large scale. Now you can use a no-code automated conversation builder to interact with millions of end users at the same time. It's a new way which is going to change how NGOs digitally interact with their end users. Yeah, so about Glyphic. So Glyphic is an open source platform which helps organization specifically specifically to the NGOs person to communicate with their beneficiary at a large scale over WhatsApp business APIs. And uh, yeah, it's users Elixir at, at their backend and the React in front end. Also, we have 50 plus organization who are using a platform right now actively. So what Glyphic really offers? So it's basically a uh, web app which provides a chatbot builder where you can you know build the conversation flows and, and to for the WhatsApp. Another thing is uh, the contact management. You can uh, you can manage your chats on who is talking to you and uh, you know answer all the questions of your beneficiary. Next thing is uh, broadcasting. You can broadcast the message on WhatsApp. So WhatsApp Business API doesn't provide a group functionality right now. So uh, Glyphic Glyphic helps us to manage that somehow. And another thing is staff uh, NGO staff also. So apart from that, there are some famous integration which are uh, actively used by our, our partners, which is BigQuery, GCS, NLP, and some custom web apps, which I'll talk about in the next slide. These are some popular use cases uh, like uh, advisory, FAQ, survey, counseling, and, and things like that, right? So uh, Glyphic basically used in educational, advisory, health, and civics areas. These are some of our, uh, you know, high, uh, highly used NGO partners, and there are more than 40 more organizations. Okay, so moving uh, to technology side now. So uh, the, this is our development stack right now: uh, Elixir, React, Postgres with multi-tenancy frame, with multi-tenancy SketchUp we use for our design, design the system uh, on a designer side, on a UI side. Uh, Data Studio helps us to build uh, the report, uh, reports and slab is our documentation tool we use. Dialogflow, BigQuery, all those are help us in ML and you know, uh, machine learning uh, use cases. This is a high level architecture, if you see. So Glyphic backend is in center, and that's the core of uh, the Glyphic part. And uh, we build it as a, as a standalone application. So our front end, which is in React, is just uh, another consumer of Glyphic APIs. So whatever you can do on front end, uh, it's all based on API. So you can just, uh, you know, plug uh, the Glyphic backend with your system as well. Apart from that, uh, the Glyphic architecture is uh, in a way that you can integrate more and more third-party libraries. So far, we are just focusing on uh, Google, inter uh, Google ecosystem. So ML, NLP, and analytics, everything is on uh, Google platforms. And yeah, next is uh, the database. If you see that uh, it's a multi-tenancy database with role-level security on a single schema. So that's that's where we are using Postgres. So we heard uh, this question a lot of time whenever uh, I talk about Glyphic. So Elixir is a modern age of functional programming, and it's compiled on Erlang VM. Erlang is a very famous old language which is used in telecommunication, and uh, yeah, so. Uh, so that's why to be in the same ecosystem to, you know, because Glyphic also uses a lot for just chatting uh, with the beneficiaries, we, we pick Elixir. And these are some of the, uh, you know, features of Elixir provides. It's concurrency, it's very fast. It uh, it works on actor model. So everything is, uh, uh, is on process. Every process just takes a message, process that, and just pass on to the next process. So that's how the CPU utilization is very fast. 
next thing is communities so as glyphic is open source uh, and we know how important community is so everything in glyphic is uh, you know transparent we we have all our internal discussion and everything on discord and that is also public so anybody can join and and share their feedbacks uh, their learnings and everything on on discord itself apart from that yeah we we do we do uh, host of webinars in every month so that uh, our NGO partners and our, uh, all the social sector people aware about Glyphic and how it's working and keep up with the speed. Next is YouTube channel. So we have a lot of uh, videos on, on each and every features, uh, which is we build, whenever we build in Glyphic. Developer experience, yeah. So, so the documentation is the first class of in Glyphic. So we have all the automated checks that if you define a new function, you have to write a specs for that. Otherwise, your PR won't be passed. And based on those specs, we have another automated tool which, which generates the documentation. So that's uh, on the CI side. Apart from that, we have some uh, you know, manual uh, documentation also on Postman and Slate. So, yeah. Okay, so how you can help? It's a uh, you know, standard uh, any open source platform. We have marked all the issues which are quick fixes as a good first issue. So you can you can pick them up, and there are some large projects also which you can build in Glyphic. So and that is on Glyphic uh, public repository in the roadmap. And of course you can you can write to us or visit our website if you want to know more about this thing. We are because we are a small team and now we are getting a lot of attraction from NGO. There are a lot of use cases which we can solve. So Tech for Dev who's uh, you know, funding Glyphic is, is hiring also for the core member. Road ahead, uh, yeah. So, so far we have uh, built a basic use cases and now we are uh, working with uh, some of our organizations to to work on GIS so, so that you can, you know, just uh, collect the location from WhatsApp somehow and plot a graph on a structural manner. Apart from that, there are some use cases of uh, AI, AI or ML, like Suno Sunao and uh, some of the organizations which, uh, which help their beneficiaries uh, based on their voice and you know, just get the question, uh, question in the voice note and uh, transfer them a message. So all those kind of things uh, we are still exploring and working on that. Apart from that, uh, in currently Glyphic only provides the WhatsApp and we are focusing, now we are planning to integrate Telegram, every messenger, ETC. So, okay, so uh, that's the time. I'll just show you a quick brief of how Glyphic works. How NGOs digitally interact with their end users. This is how it works. When your end user messages you, all the contacts show up here on the right side. You can view the conversation history along with all the messages exchanged with the beneficiary here. While they are using their WhatsApp application on the phone, you're using Glyphic to interact with them. To set automated conversations, you can go into flows. It's a simple process of joining the blocks. When you want to send a message, you click and drag the arrow to send a message. You can type in your message. And then, when you want to take an action based on the user's response, you can create a wait for response block and then guide them based on their response. You can attach media files to your message and format it in a way that makes your message appealing to the user. You can send them the same message in multiple languages by simply adding translations for each message. You can hit preview to check how the conversation would run on the end user's WhatsApp. When you want to save information for later use, like their name or age, you can simply use the update contact block. And when you want to track goals and behaviors, you can label a message as urgent because your beneficiary needed urgent help. Later, you can see all the messages at a glance that were labeled urgent. You can notify a staff member to check out the chat in case you anticipate that someone might need help. Your staff will be alerted via WhatsApp to check out the conversation. You can use the label again to track if you were able to help all the people who needed urgent help. When you want to put contacts together based on common interests or services they would like to receive, you can create collections by going into the Collections screen. And then linking it in flows puts the contacts in collections based on their response. 
you can also trigger a message to all at once whenever you need. You can give your staff members the right level of access to the application. All your messages, contacts, and labels information gets saved on your secure and private Google Cloud storage accounts, and you can access or download it in any format you'd like, such as Excel. The data is completely private and accessible to you at any time. Thank you, everyone. Right. Uh, so I can take the questions now. Does anybody have any question? It seems. Hello. Uh, yeah, it seems that uh, your application can have uh, a much wider uh, variety of applications than what you have proposed here. So uh, my question to you is, why are you targeting specifically NGOs when this can kind of, uh, you know, be used by in any kind of business? So yeah, I mean, uh, so this project is funded by Tech for Dev and initiated by Tech for Dev also. So Tech for Dev is just build the products for NGO sector right now, only the technical products and make them open source. So this project is just made for uh, to help the organization to you know uh, communicate over uh, business APIs. There are some for-profit uh, products also in the market, but uh, the cost and everything is you know way more. Yeah. Uh, so like, do you have some sort of filter on your clients? Like, do you specifically ch uh, background check them that okay, you are a for-profit business and uh, you're not helping uh, X Y Z uh, causes, so we will not take you as a client. Do you mm -hmm. do that or? Uh, no, is so we, we don't uh, apply that filter. It's, uh, it's uh, open for everybody. You can join our Discord and you know share your use case and ask that if we can build in Glyphic or not. But mostly, uh, we j only target uh, NGOs. So we just communicate with them only that we are building Glyphic, and if you are interested, you can do you can use it or you know things like that. So we are communicating with NGO persons only right now. Uh, 